how to upload videos to YouTube from your iPhone, Android or tablet in just a few simple steps. First things first, to get started, you need to make sure that you've downloaded two different apps. The first one is the standard YouTube app, which you might already be familiar with from watching videos on your mobile device. And this is the app that we're gonna to use to upload our video. And the second one you're gonna to want to download is the YouTube Studio app, which is gonna give us access to all of the more advanced upload settings, like adding custom thumbnails. Now, I'm gonna be walking you through the entire process on my iPhone, but don't worry, Android users, the process on either iPhone or Android is pretty much identical, so you can still follow along. So now let's go ahead and open up the main YouTube app. Before you start uploading, you're gonna to want to make sure that YouTube will upload your videos at the highest possible quality. On Android phones, this setting is looked after automatically, but on iOS, you're gonna to want to check this first. On the YouTube app, make sure you're logged in and then go to the top right and select your profile picture. And then down at the bottom of this menu, select settings. And from here, you're gonna to want to select upload, which is the third from the bottom, and then select upload quality. And from these options, I'm gonna recommend selecting full quality, which is the last option right at the bottom, and then just go back to the home screen. So now that's done nice and easy, it's time to upload a video from your smartphone. At the bottom of the home page, right in the middle, select that plus symbol. And this now opens up all of the different options for uploading a video. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single option, but I am gonna show you the newest option, which is the one right at the top, and that's the ability to create a YouTube short. You may have seen shorts starting to appear in your YouTube feed at some point over the last year, and they're basically YouTube's answer to TikTok or Instagram Reels. So it's all videos shot in that vertical format. By selecting the Create a Short option, you open up the Shorts Creator, and you can now go ahead and record a video directly into the app by holding down the red button at the bottom of the screen. And you have a variety of effects and recording features over on the right-hand side, if you've ever used TikTok or Instagram Reels, then this is very, very similar. And when you've finished recording, just select the tick in the bottom right. On this next page, you now get some options for doing some simple editing to your video. By selecting sound down in the bottom menu, you can then select a music track to add to your video. You can also search for one in that top search bar. And when you found one that you want to use, just select it and then hit that blue arrow on the right hand side. And that will now add the music directly onto your video. Down in the bottom menu, once again, you'll see that there is now an adjust option. And by selecting that, you can choose which section of the song you want to use with your video. And to do that, all you need to do is scroll along like so to find the exact part of the music that you want to use. And when you're happy, you can just press done. On the right hand side again, you have the volume option. And as you can see, this now opens up a slider with music over on the right hand side and original audio over on the left. So if you want to get rid of your original audio completely and just hear the music, all you need to do is drag the slider all the way to the right, or if you want a little bit of your original audio mixed with the music, then find somewhere in the middle. And when you're finished, once again, press done. The next option is to add some on-screen text. And by selecting the text option, you open up the text editor. So all I'm gonna do is type in what I want my text to say. And now you have loads of different options to customize your text. You can change the alignment in the top left like so. You can change the style. You can also change the font in the middle. You can change the color underneath, so I'm gonna pick a nice blue color. And over on the right hand side, you can change the size of your text by dragging the slider up and down like this. And by selecting off all of that, you can then click and drag your text to put it wherever you want it within the frame. I'm gonna put mine down there in the bottom right. And the final option in this editing menu is the timeline. And if you open this up, you can make any final adjustments to your video. So for example, if you want your text to appear and disappear at certain points in your video, all you need to do is click and drag the front and back of the text element like so. So by clicking the front, I can change when it appears. And by clicking and dragging the back, I can change when it disappears. And when I'm happy with the result, I'm gonna press done. And we're now ready to hit next to move on to the next menu. And this is where you add your video details. So all I'm gonna do is add a title in the top there. So I'm just gonna call it example. Underneath that, you can choose from the visibility options. So in this menu, you can see that there's a public option, an unlisted option, or a private one. And I'm just gonna select unlisted and then go back to the main menu. And finally, you need to let YouTube know if your content is specifically made for kids. Now, mine isn't, but let's open up the menu anyway. So in here, you get the option to say, yes, your content is made for kids, or no, it's not. So I'm just gonna leave mine on the no option and go back to that main menu. And the only thing left to do is select that blue button at the bottom of the screen to upload the short. So that's how easy it is to create and upload a YouTube short. So now let's upload a normal YouTube video. 
back on the homepage of the main YouTube app. Go back down to that plus icon at the bottom of the screen and then select upload a video. If this is your first time using the YouTube app, then you might be prompted to allow access to your camera roll. And once you do, it will appear on screen like so. And now all I'm gonna do is select my video, which is the newest one up here, and then hit next. And now we can again add some video details. First, I'm gonna add the video title. So once again, I'm just gonna call it example video. And underneath that, you can then add your video description. So if you select that option, you'll see that you can add 5,000 characters into this box. Now, writing out a detailed description is something that I recommend doing before you even start the upload process. And that's something that I've done today. So all I'm gonna do is go over to my notes app, copy my pre-written description, and then paste it into that description box like so. So with that done, I'm just gonna go back one step. And now we can select the visibility options. And this is exactly the same as the YouTube Shorts. You can select public, unlisted, or private. But there is one more option right down at the bottom, and that's the ability to schedule your video. So by selecting this menu, you can select a specific time or date for when you want your video to be published onto YouTube. So I'm just gonna select an example date, like so, and an example time. And as you can see, that is now scheduled to post at the time that I set. Going back one step again, you'll see that we can again select the audience options. And once again, this video is not made for kids, so I'm gonna leave that one as it is. And now it's time to set the video location. So by selecting this option, you'll see that YouTube now prompts me to allow access for my location. So I'm gonna allow it. And then I'm just gonna type in United Kingdom. And the final option in this menu is to add your video to a playlist on your channel. And after that, you can just select the big blue upload button right at the bottom of the screen. And when your video is finished uploading, select library in the bottom right corner, then select your videos, and you'll see your brand new upload sitting right at the top of the list. Now, there are still quite a few things missing from this upload, so it's now time to open up the YouTube Studio app. And as I said before, this app gives you access to all of the more advanced settings that you'd normally find when you log into YouTube on your internet browser. So once you've opened up the app and logged into your account, select content from down in the bottom menu and you should then see your new video at the top, so select it to open it up. And now to do some further edits to the video details, select that pencil from the top menu. And as you can see from the video details page, we've already filled out most of this information, but there is an option in the top left to upload a custom thumbnail. So select that little picture icon, and in here you can choose from all of the auto-generated thumbnails that YouTube has created automatically, or you can select the option to upload a custom thumbnail. And by doing that, you're gonna open up your camera roll once again, and I'm gonna select my pre-made thumbnail from the options, and then hit select. And as you can see, my thumbnail has now been added to my video page. Now let's scroll down to the bottom of this menu and select more options. And this is where we can now get into the more advanced video settings. First of all, you can type in all your video tags, and just like the video description, tags are something that I write before I start the uploading process. So once again, I'm gonna open up my notes app, and I'm gonna copy my pre-written tags, go back to the YouTube Studio app, and just paste it into the Add Tags option, like so. The next thing in the menu is to add a video category or genre, and by opening up this menu, you can choose from all of the different options. I'm gonna keep mine on How To's, and then press the X. Scrolling down, you can then select your YouTube video license, and by opening up this menu, you'll see that there are two different options. In most cases, you'll probably want to keep the standard YouTube license, but you can also choose the Creative Commons option, and Creative Commons just means that you allow other users to use your video clips in their own projects as long as they give you credit. But I'm gonna keep mine as the standard YouTube license. The next little tick box underneath that is to allow embedding. And this just means that you're gonna allow other websites to embed your video into their web pages, which can actually help you get more views. Underneath that, you can select the settings for your comments section. In the comments visibility menu, you can choose from a few different options. You can just allow all comments, you can hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, you can hold all comments for review, or you can disable comments completely. And I'm gonna to choose to hold potentially inappropriate comments. You can also choose how you want to sort your comments section. And with this final tick box, you can also choose whether you want to show the amount of likes on your video page. And right there at the bottom, you do have the option to delete your video from YouTube. But I wanna keep mine up there, so let's go back to the main menu and hit save. And that is how to upload a video to YouTube on your phone. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel for some more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.